All right, welcome to Jim's Guitar Garage. Today we've got an exciting new product for you that just was released. As you can see by the box right here, these are called pedal pods. So let's go find out what these are all about. All right, so here we are. Let's get this box open and we can find out what these pedal pods are all about. Okay, so what's supposed to be in here is A no wiring pedal pod, a handle, pedal pod top plates, uh, translucent, and uh, we'll get more into that as we go through the box. And then six pedal pods and then what's called a gas pedal. All right, we'll just pick these two first because everything else, everything else is basically the same. All right, so this is a pedal pod. This is what's called the gas pedal. So I guess we'll start with the gas pedal. Okay, so here's a welcome to pedal pods. This is your um, assembly guide. So it's going to give you all the instructions on how to put everything together. We'll obviously have to refer to that later for sure. Okay. So here's the unit itself. We'll go ahead and put this up on here so you can see it. So this is what's called a gas pedal. So this is basically your ins and outs for the pedal board. Okay. All right, so this covers your ins and outs for the pedal board. We'll do a close up shot of this later. So you've got USB up here. You've got your voltage coming in. You've got your voltage indicator. If you get any kind of fault indicator, it's right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me hold this up a little closer. Then you've got your loop two out, loop one out, loop two in, loop one in. And then you've got this combined pedal so you can separate the two of them or you can combine the two of them depending on how you want to run your system. And then inside here is your circuit card to run everything. And one of the unique things about this system is everything works on cat five and cat six cables. So you can use either or. So it comes with an in and out right here. And then your cables, when you put this thing together, let's see if I can do this right. This is, I just opened up this box. So this is the first time I'm seeing these two. Once you put everything together, This is where your cables are going to run it. Your uh, cables coming from your other pods run into. So let's open this box. Well, these are some spacers, the screws um, for the main face plate. Even comes with some, uh, some extra cat five, cat six connectors. And then you've got your main power cable. And then this is your main 24 volts DC connector, which is going to go right on here. And then this will connect to it. You know, this will connect to the, um, the actual power supply itself and then go into the wall. So you don't have that big, you don't have that big wall work, which is kind of nice. 
All right, so let's open the next box. If you haven't seen the Tone Kings broadcast with Jerry a few weeks ago, go ahead and check that out. They go, they actually show the pedal board all assembled and connected and everything and how it works. So go check that out. I will put a link down below. All right, so here is the individual pot itself. Again, very well packaged. Okay. So this is the pot itself. So what happens here, you're gonna mount your pedal to here. You can use Velcro, you can use, um, actually, let me pause for a second, I'll go get them. You can also use these things called glue pods or glue pad. So you can get a package of 10 of these and you simply peel it, stick it on here, stick your pedal on top. Okay, one of the neat things about this, we mentioned before, the Cat5 cable, which is extremely noiseless. That's why all computer systems and a lot of um, data systems and audio systems use Cat5 cable. So what happens is, Let's open the accessory compartment. All right, so again, you've got all the goodies that were in the other box. You've got um, these little spacers to run your, your interconnection wires through. This comes with once again, your Cat5 cables. And this time, you get double. It also comes with your interconnection cables. So this is gonna be your patch cables for your pedals. And you also get the screws to put everything together and to put the, the, the faceplate on. So one of the neat things I'm gonna show you in just a second, let me go grab a pedal. Okay, back to the pedal pod. So, grabbed one of my favorite pedals of all times, the Boss Blues Driver. So what happens is, once again, you're gonna take this glue pod. This happens to have Velcro on it, but um, we will take that off. Um, we're not gonna mount it right now. This is just an unboxing video, so we'll cover that later. So one of the cool things that really struck me about this, and that, um, really kind of sets it apart from anything else is number one, the Cat5 cable. Number two, this has multiple voltages. So you also have a bypass mode. You can, if you have a stereo pedal, right down inside here, hopefully you guys can see that. Right down inside here, you can see where all your, your patch cables are gonna go. And then there is another selector down on the far right side over here. Let me see if I can read these off. 9, 12, 15, and 18 volts. So any kind of pedal you have, you just move this little dip switch thing up over here and it'll, it'll uh, work with any pedal that you have. And then to connect the pods, you can see these two bays where your Cat6 cable goes. You connect that and then you run that to the next pod out through this port. So if this is an end, if this is an end pedal, you would leave this cap on. If it's not, you're gonna go ahead and pop this out. Then you would stick this one on. And then you run your cables through here. This also connects the two pods together. So. If you had, let's say you only had two, uh, sorry, you had your gas pedal and then you had this. Pop this out, stick this in here, put your face plates on so you'd have your one pedal here. Then your gas pedal is gonna go here. And then you'll go out. So that would, this is, that's how they connect. The other thing 
that is really cool about this besides all that and the, the thing about this too is i noticed i was kind of worried because when i when i looked at it on tv it looked like these things were kind of um were kind of large but i think it was the camera angle so i actually measured or I got the dimensions from the website and measured the face of this. And this is actually the front end of this is actually the same size as my, it is a pedal train pro board. And the front side is about the same height too. Basically how, how this is going to work. So you'd connect your cat five cables between your, between your other pods. So this thing is totally modular. That was another thing that struck me. So no matter what kind of pedal board you have, you know, like for me, I, I've gone up in size in like about probably about five different pedal boards, three or four at least. The thing I like about this is all I need to do to add another pedal is add another pod. So you can make this, you know, you can have a linear pedal board that goes all the way up to here with five pedals. You can stack them behind each other. Go to their website, check it out. I'll try to put some uh, still photos, you know, in this in this video. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to run your Cat5 cables between the two. Make sure you got everything set on the right voltage. Your patch cables. So let's go ahead. Whoops. So everything is tucked neatly inside of this. So. Pedal power connects right down in here. Let me show you that. Okay, hopefully you guys can make that out really good. You just plug that in right there. There's two, there's two areas to plug your, your power into. So if you've got two mini pedals, you could probably mount them both on this. Okay, hook your power in here. Now you, you're in and out. You go from here. Plugs right in here at the top, pedal input. You go to your pedal output. That goes to the pedal output right next to it. Hopefully you guys can see that with that um, kind of goldish brass colored. Now you've got all these cables on a normal pedal board. You've got to try and hide all these. Well, this one, this cover, goes right here and there's a slot at the top right here that you hopefully you guys can see that and you simply tuck that stuff in there we got one that doesn't want to go there there we go and then your pedal sits on top okay one of the questions you might have is okay what if I have a larger pedal board or a larger pedal We'll cover that in a second. Okay, so this is your basic pedal board. And so you would have another pod over here, which we have more in here. Another pod, you can build them in any configuration. You can build them forward. You can build it back. Have you, I would, I recommend, and I think they recommend having your gas pedal either at the upper left or upper right corner of your board. And then um, everything just gets connected from cat five cable to cat five cable to jump through it. <laughs> So these are extremely, extremely quiet. Now, one of the things that we talked about the cover, right? This is a translucent cover. Now, why would you get a translucent cover? You might ask, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Take that off, put your translucent cover on. Inside here, is red, green, blue LED lights. So depending on which ones you switch on and off, you can have obviously red, green, blue, you can have yellow, um, pink, I believe. And um, so you just turn those on, which obviously we're not plugged in right now. So we'll show that when we actually build the board. So you can put this on and if you want this thing blue, so you're on a dark stage, you know, hey, the blue, that's my blue pedal. 
then you just light this up blue in the background so you know that that's your blue pedal and you can step on it and find it even on a dark stage. So that's one of the cool things about this. Um, I have always run, I don't have it with, with me here, here now, but my other pedal board, I have to always have a pet, I, uh, USB out on my, um, on my pedal board on the external one and then run it one of those gooseneck little LED lights and I keep that on my pedal board to light everything up. So that is one of the really cool things about this. So this is the been the unboxing. Um, I guess we'll cover there was one of these we didn't open. Okay, let's cover the handle. Since we've got two of them here. And then we'll be done. All right, so once you've built enough of these, obviously if you've only got two or three pedals on here, you, you, you might not necessarily want a handle. <clears throat> so here is our handle, spring-loaded. It's encapsulated in this uh, uh, plastic sleeve or rubber sleeve, flexible rubber sleeve. So what you would do is at the top of your board or wherever you decide to put your handle, let me move this back so you guys can see. You would replace this piece right here that is not actually there at the moment. You would put these in because they have the mounts for the handles on them. Then you take your handle. You're going to actually mount it to it. Stick this in. And obviously it's got to go, I believe, between three. You got to have more than three pods. But you would put it inside here. And then you can just grab your pedal board and go. And there's also, um, I'll try and find the link to the cases too, but there's a company that's making custom cases for these depending on the size of the pedal board you build. All right, so I hope you guys like this unboxing and just covered the basics. I'm sure there's some things I forgot and I'll try to cover those in the, in the next video where we actually build a pedal board, put everything together, and then put the handle on. Um, we will set the lights and we'll show you what a completed pedal board looks like. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Aloha, till next time. <music>